Welcome, Scorpio. This is Renee. Welcome back. This is going to be your you versus them reading. Okay. And we're going to take a look at your energy and we're going to take a look at the person on your mind's energy as well. We're going to have your pal here, your person's here. And just be aware that those energies can be flipped. So, you know, if you're here and they're here, you know, take it how it resonates, right? Okay, so let's get some more energy for your person. Okay, so we have for you, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay, for them, we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay, so they may be working on something. They may be having financial issues um, or just basically just working on the coin right now. You know, they may have their full intentions on their bank, right? Um, they may be putting love on a back burner at the moment. So let's take a look, Scorpio. Okay, messages for Scorpio. How does Scorpio feel about this person? Give me a message, Spirit. How does Scorpio feel about this person? Okay, that's way too many cards. Let's try this again. Messages for Scorpio. How does Scorpio feel about this person, please? Hey, the sun. You really like this person. You really like them. Okay, um, give me a message. What are Scorpio's intentions towards this connection? What are Scorpio's intentions towards this connection? The Page of Pentacles. Okay, and where is this connection going for Scorpio and this person? Give me a message. Where is this connection going? The Ten of Cups. Ooh. I'm liking it, Scorpio. Okay. So I feel like this person makes you very happy. You know? This person, you feel like they're very valuable. You feel like, you know, seeing this person, just seeing this person is good news. Right? You feel like there's definitely some kind of offer. They make you happy. They make you smile. You know, you feel like this connection is some kind of wish fulfillment. You know, this is something that you've been thinking about that you may have been really dreaming about in the past. You know, being fulfilled. And um, I feel like there may have been some sort of conflict with you and this person. Hmm. I'm, I'm really getting that there may be a few trust issues. If this is an ex, this isn't for all of you. Okay, so don't get crazy. Um, but I feel like there may have been some trust issues. But I feel like you're moving, you're moving on from those. You're moving away from the trust issues. So whatever is done in the past, you're going ahead and moving away from the past, you know, but I feel like there's still some kind of guard up when it comes to this person. So you may really know this person, you know, they may be coming back. This may be a partnership that you're working on, a relationship that you're trying to rekindle. Um, because I feel like at one point, I feel like you weren't quite sure if there was going to be happiness in the relationship, you weren't sure if there was going to be a new beginning. But I feel like, you know, I feel like you or this person was finally honest in the situation. Okay. You and this person finally was able to open up and get something off of your chest, you know. And I, you know, I'm, I'm seeing that it may have been after some no contact or after a little bit of time apart, a little bit of space, you know, you had your independence at one point because of this situation. And I really feel like some kind of truth came out 
and now you're ready to make the decision to move forward. You're ready to feel like you want this situation back. I feel like you want it back. And you're making that decision, you know, that you want this to last. You don't want to give it up. You want to hold it and protect it, right? Um, even though you haven't really seen everything that you want to see just yet, I feel like those things will be revealed. I feel like there is something that you're waiting to be revealed. Or maybe you're waiting. It, it could be that this person, you're waiting for this person to step up and be more stable. You're waiting for some kind of commitment, for them to take control, for them to step up and take control. Yeah, because I feel like, Scorpio, you're looking for stability. And at one point, this situation brought you a lot of happiness. You really feel like you're connected with this person, like they were a wish fulfillment. But um, I feel like there's something that got involved. It may be a uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. It may be a Capricorn, basically. But um, I, I feel like Scorpio, there's something that got in the way. There's something that got in the way of this connection. And now you're in doubt that the connection can be saved because maybe you or this person have walked away. Maybe there has there hasn't been any contact with this person. There hasn't been any contact. Okay? You're waiting for some kind of contact with this person. You're waiting for something to happen. Um some kind of change to be made. You're waiting for them to change on something. They're not financially stable. I feel like that's the reason why this person may be having issues with their finances. Because they're looking for more stability. Because they they may want to come back into the situation and you feel like they're not financially stable enough to handle you, right? You feel like they still have things to work on. They haven't made the changes that they need to make before they step towards you, right? Yeah, you're not quite sure. See, tell me more about this. Page of Pentacles. What is this? What is this news? You're waiting for good news from this person. I feel like you're waiting for... Um, maybe it's news about more stability. Give me a message. What, what is Scorpio waiting for when it comes to good news for this person? You're waiting for that offer. You're waiting for them to come to you correct, right? Could be a, a Gemini energy. Okay. Could also be a Leo with the sun energy here. Yeah, you're not quite sure if you trust this person. Maybe you just don't trust them with money. You know, because this seven of swords keep coming out close to a pinnacle. You know, you don't trust this person with money. Maybe they're not good with finances. Hmm. The star could be a Pisces. Could be Pisces energy. Yeah, but I feel like you may be healing from something. There's some kind of situation that you're healing from, Scorpio. Okay, let's take a look at your person. Tell me more about Scorpio's person. How does this person feel about Scorpio? Give me a message. How does this person feel about Scorpio? How does this person feel about Scorpio? 
with the star it could be Aquarius energy. Hmm. We have the Knight of Cups. So this person definitely wants to come and make you an offer. They definitely want to make you some kind of offer, Scorpio. With this Knight of Cups energy. We have the Will of Fortune. So definitely, I feel like this person wants to change for you. They want to become a better person for you. Okay? Um... I'm really feeling like this person is kind of seeing you as a lucky catch. Hmm. Give me a message for Scorpio. Where's this connection going? Where's this connection going? The Scorpio and this person. The world. Wow. This person wants to be able to give you the world. They may not be able to just yet if they're having financial difficulties. But this person definitely wants to give you the world, Scorpio. They want to be your all. Very interesting. They feel like if they have you, everything will be complete. You know, this this person, you may be this person's goal. You may be this person's perfect mate, right? They see you as this perfect person, having it all together, okay? They feel like if they have you, everything will be in alignment, right? Like everything is coming together. Everything is like turning in their direction. I feel like this person has been waiting for someone like you. They've been waiting for someone like you. We have the three of wands at the bottom. They've been waiting for you. You know, they have the sun energy too. So I really feel like you make this person happy as well. We also have the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like this person definitely sees you as a catch. They definitely see you as a very good investment, right? They see themselves having having it all with you. We have the Two of Swords, the Hangman, the Queen of Wands. Yeah, they definitely find, find you very attractive. They find you very attractive, Scorpio. And I feel like this person... They're deep in thought when it comes to you. We have the Emperor. So yeah, Aries keeps coming out. This Aries energy keeps coming out. So this person could be a few years older than you. I feel like they they could also be a little wiser, you know. I'm, I'm really getting, could be a few years older. I, I feel like they're just, you know, there's some kind of financial difficulties here that they have to work on, that they have to work out. Okay? Um, give me more of a message for Scorpio. Where is this connection going? Give me more of a message. Why is the Knight of Cups here in the Will of Fortune? Give me a message. Why is the Knight of Cups here in the Wheel of Fortune? The, the Emperor again. Yeah. This person is trying to take control of their life before they make an offer to you. Because I feel like this person wants to be balanced. They want to be able to give you the things that you need. 
They want to be able to give you and to provide with you. That they don't feel like they want to just take. Yet they, they don't feel like everything is up to par to them. Right? They don't feel like they have the confidence or the strength. They, they feel like there's, you know, they don't have their shit together. Right? There may be some kind of addiction or something holding them back. Some kind of, um, something's holding them back. You know? There's something blocking them. But I feel like they really want to move forward. But they may want to tell you some kind of truth first. Okay? They really want to be able to come to you correct. And they don't feel like they can do that right now. Yeah. They, they don't feel like they're a star. They, they don't feel like they're attractive enough for you. I'm, I'm seeing that a lot lately. It's like, what the heck is going on? You know, why Why are these people not having any confidence to step to you? What's going on? You know, but they, they don't want to, they don't want to lose their appeal because they feel like, you know, they may have a little bit of a chance with you. You know, uh, with this Ace of Cups, I feel like they really want a chance, but I feel like they, they only feel like they got half a chance with you. You know, and I feel like they're, they're kind of thinking, they're thinking about things, but they're in a stuck energy. They're stuck right now, Scorpio. Tell me more about this. Why is the emperor here? Tell me more about this emperor. The queen of wands, excuse me, queen of swords. Sometimes the Queen of Swords can be very blunt. With her energy. Um, so I feel like... I feel like they're trying to like clear their mind before they come close they're trying to get some kind of clarity on the situation right that they, they don't feel clear that they have everything together they just don't feel like they have everything together okay um they feel like they have to boss boss this stuff up before they can come closer but i feel like you know they're they're working on it they're working on it. The emperor is also very strategic. So I feel like, you know, he's thinking this through. He's thinking what's the best option to go about this, right? Tell me more about the Queen of Swords. Give me a message for the Queen of Swords. The Three of Cups. Okay. For some of you, this may be a three-party situation. You know, or maybe they already have someone that they're attached to and they're trying to work this out. You know, um, tell me why is the Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here? The Two of Pentacles. Yeah, there's something that they're trying to work out. There may be an ex still in the picture, Scorpio, that they're trying to work out or it could be you. This could definitely be your energy, right? But I feel like they're trying to set the priority. They're trying to work something out before they um, make this offer. But I feel like they're definitely coming closer to making this offer than you may actually think, you know? Because I feel like they're going to come in with some sort of surprise offer for you. Some, something that you're not expecting, okay? Um... Very interesting. Let's go ahead and get some messages from this person. Let's go ahead and get some messages. What would this person say to Scorpio if given a chance? What would this person say to Scorpio if given a chance? I knew exactly what I was doing. Finding out the truth. Hmm. Yeah, there may have been some kind of... I feel like 
up with this person, there may be a situation that you may or may not be aware of, right? That may be something that's in the situation. But I feel like they're trying to work it out. I hid who I really am from you, right? I wish I had treated you better. Hmm. Give me a message for Scorpio. What would this person say to Scorpio if given a chance? I couldn't let you get close to me. Yeah, I feel like they don't feel like they're good enough. I want to be more than friends. Did you friend zone somebody, Scorpio? Or are they placing themselves in the zone? You know? Give me more messages. I feel like this person wants to be more than friends. I'm starting to understand our connection. They're starting to understand what's attracting you to each other. You know, where the connection is going, where it might lead. Finding out the truth crushed me. Now, this is the second time that one's come out. So I feel like, you know, and I lost myself for a while. So this may be someone trying to come back in this situation. Uh, I do feel like there, for some of you, there may have been a third party situation and now they're trying to work that situation out. It could have been um, that the situation where they felt obligated to a certain situation, you came closer than anyone. We have I love you, you know. I remember every detail of that day. And we both know I'm not the one for you. Yeah, and I feel like there, there's something that went on in this situation, Scorpio. I feel like your readings always go way off to the left, right? Why does your readings always go way off to the left? Like, they always take me off guard. Okay, let's get some more messages for... Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio. What does this person want to say? What are they thinking about Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know? What needs to be revealed? Okay. What needs to be revealed to Scorpio? Okay, we have, I was wrong. See the bigger picture before taking action. Someone has a victim mentality. You know, someone feels like a victim in this situation. You need to heal so that you can move forward. Um, I need to speak my mind. Be open-minded. And experience new things in life. Okay, we're going to take two more. Wow, wait a minute. What does this person do? Please forgive me. And someone has a new job. There's a new job coming. The answer is yes. Okay? At the bottom, we have alignment is needed. So I, I feel like there's some situations that need to be worked out with this, right? Show kindness to someone. Yeah, and I feel like, yeah, there's something going on. I'm trying to process my fears so I can come back to you. You have to let go so something better can come. Hmm. What is going on with this connection, Scorpio? There we go. Cheaters. Yeah, that's that three-party situation. There was definitely another person in the situation. That's the reason why I feel like alignment is needed. You know, there's something that needs to be worked out. It could be that, you know, due to some financial issues, there may be a new job coming in for this person, so they may feel more stable. They may feel like they're able to come closer to you now because, because of a situation. But I still feel like... In the background, and this is for some of you, but I feel like in the background, there was another person 
there was a, some another person that you were either aware of or you had no idea, right? So let's get your, first of all, let's get a timeline. Let's get a timeline for Scorpio. Okay, we have stop ruminating over the past. It's limiting your movement forward. No time can be determined right now. And for some of you, we have some time before February. Okay, so this situation is going to resolve itself sometime before February. Or for some of you, you're, you're still thinking over past situations, so it's limited in your movement forward. You're not going to be able to move forward before you get over this past situations. I feel like that's the reason why these readings keep going to the left here. You know, um, because there's some kind of past energy that's steady coming back, that's steady not leaving. There's some kind of cycle that hasn't been completed, right? You have conflictual thoughts. You will, it will not happen unless you feel completely certain, right? So, yeah, th th there's, there's some kind of past energy that you need to withdraw from, Scorpio, before your energy can be complete to move forward in a situation. And I feel like that's the reason why the, it, it's steady going to the left. You know, I feel like it starts out really, really good, you know, and then it kind of just veers off. So let's go ahead and get your angel number, Scorpio. Okay, yeah, see, we have one, two, three, vision. Your path will not look identical to anyone else's. That is what makes you unique. Remember that you can stay the path that feels connected. The path will continue to lead you to alignment. Let your vision be as different as you are. Okay? Your affirmation, Scorpio. My path is mine and mine alone. When I follow my path, alignment comes naturally. Okay? So, Scorpio, this is your reading. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't, make sure to take a look at your other placements. You can also take a look at your person's placements if you know them. That could give you more messages. Okay, and if it doesn't resonate, I do readings every week. Come back and you will have another reading. Okay, so my lovely Scorpio, many blessings to you. Love and light.